everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 handbag tricks that I think are life changing. I love a good handbag and you guys probably do too because you clicked on this video and I think these tips and tricks are, they're so helpful, they're very organizational. I just really think you're gonna like them, especially since many of them I, I just never hear people talk about. Um, so let's get into the first one. Before we do though, quick plug. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I would love for you to follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to 100,000. Um, we'll see if that ever happens, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's just get into the first trick because it's right here. It is Apple Guard, and I talked about this years ago, not that many years, maybe like two years ago on my channel, and this is controversial, guys. This is for all of you Louis Vuitton lovers out there. So this is a Louis Vuitton bag, and this is a Louis Vuitton bag. And with many Louis Vuitton bags, there is natural leather, which is a vachetta or vaquetta. There's many ways to pronounce it, but basically it's this light beige leather that's untreated. So as it ages, it, get, it, it gets darker. And with rain or water or moisture, it leaves spots. And I've had <laughs> many a bags ruined. And some people really like it. Um, I just don't. So anyway, Rain Guard. <laughs> this is just a really quick spray. It, I do like a couple coats and I've actually, I have a, a tutorial on YouTube of me doing this live and I think it freaked people out because I do it live on camera. I can link it down below and it gets really dark at first and people think, oh my gosh, Shay just ruined her bag. But then it immediately lightens up and it has protected this from watermarks and rain spots like crazy. I literally have been in downpours with this bag and it still looks so good. It doesn't stop it from patina which basically means darkening with time, but it does prevent watermarks, like like splotches, and it's amazing. So I get this on Amazon, I can link it down below. Highly recommend it. Again, it's, it's personal preference. Some people love this, some people prefer not to use it. So just, this is just such a good tip. You can use it on shoes, suede, like all kinds of stuff, but I love it on my bags. Number two is to get a handbag organizer. And you don't have to just buy a handbag organizer if you have a designer handbag. I know that a lot of companies make them for designer bags, like this Neverfull. I have one in my Speedy, my Louis Vuitton Speedy, which I love. Um, but honestly, they have so many different sizes and models and colors. You can really customize it to fit baby items and bottles and iPads and pens. Like, it's amazing. So I really love mine in my Speedy, actually. Like, I have it red so it just blends into the bag, and I specifically picked the layout, but I really, really love it in my Neverfull too, just because this is a bottomless pit, and this just really, really helps me stay organized and everything has its place. So I'm going to link some of my favorite handbag organizers down below, but like I said, you could just get a generic one and fit it into maybe your work bag. You can just really pick the size. It's just, it's just really, really cool. So if you don't have a handbag organizer, check them out. But since we are, you know, looking at this Neverfull, I wanna show you something that I actually always keep in a lot of my handbags and it's the coolest thing. This was actually first sent to me by a subscriber and then I ended up purchasing other versions, but it is a table like hook thing that you can actually set on the table like if you're out to eat or you're, you're just somewhere and you don't wanna put your very nice expensive bag on the dirty floor. So see, it just kind of like unlocks and you literally like put this on the table, you hang your bag like so and it it's weighted and so it literally keeps your bag off the floor just hanging on the table right in front of you. It's such a cool little thing. It takes up like zero space and I just have them in, I don't have like tons of them but I do have them in some key bags that I often carry that I don't want to have just like sitting on the floor. So the Neverfull is definitely one of those bags. And let me just move on to a couple other things that I always have with me. So I am making this number four because these are some really new essentials that I actually just talked about in a video a few videos back. And this is called Soul. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's just the coolest invention. It literally is a light that you just keep in your bag and anytime it feels any motion, it automatically turns on and then it lights up your whole bag. It's like the coolest freaking invention. I'll link, link it down below like, like everything else, um, but I just got it from Amazon. No longer is my bag a bottomless black pit. And then also I am now always carrying with me this lint roller. It's called Flint. It's so lightweight, it's so small. You can get them in so many different colors and patterns and it's just 
such a good thing to have because I'm constantly rolling my clothes because I have a cat, but it's just a great thing to always have with you in your handbag. And I know so many people love to have just really good essentials with them at all times. So that does lead me to number five. I'm, I need to stop counting because I'm gonna lose track, but my next trick is to have a catch-all, one single catch-all in your bag. So you can literally fill it with everything you always want to have with you. So this is my Louis Vuitton. Clearly there's a pattern. I do really like Louis Vuitton, but you can get these you know, pre-loved, um, I've said this time and time again, Fashion File is so good for pre-loved items. So they have a lot of SLGs, that's small leather goods. So this is a pochette accessoire, and I don't think they make these anymore, so you really do have to get it pre-loved, but oh my gosh, this is so good. Guys, you need to, you just need to check it out. But it's just this little pouch and it fits so many things and it's basically just a great item to have and I can literally transport it from bag to bag to bag and I have everything I need in one spot, so try it out. Okay, so we're moving on to Chanel. So this is my Chanel jumbo bag in black caviar with gold hardware. I love it, it is one of my most prized possessions. But the tip that I want to bestow upon you actually has to do with storing the bag and how I keep its shape, because this bag does have a strong tendency to lose its shape, as do many of my other bags. So I do this for just a lot of bags. So it's just different than what most people do. So I wanted to share it, but a lot of people actually stuff their bags with, um, they say air paper, which is, um, that it works too, it's just not as moldable, but basically that is a lot of the packing that you get when you order items, you know, just basically plastic filled with air. And, and that's like a, an easy way to store and keep bags shapes. But what I just love to do even more is actually use old t-shirts, like old white t-shirts and pillowcases. Um, I kind of get them from my kids, I get them from my husband, and they stuff so well. You can really get in all of the nooks and crannies really, really well. They're white, so they don't stain anything. Um, I feel like they kind of absorb the odors really well. I feel like there's no moisture, like if there's any moisture kind of stuck in there, it's not um, kind of sticking to the walls of the bag like with the, the plastic, if that makes sense. It's kind of just in my head. I don't even know if that's a thing. I just feel really good about putting old t-shirts that I do wash in the bag and it just keeps the shape so good and then that's how I store them in my closet. Now speaking of odors or moisture, bacteria, all the fun stuff, I do wanna talk about this thing. Let me actually show you my, this is my Dior bag. This is my most recent bag and I really like it too. So um, this though is so handy to have. It's the perfect size for handbags and it's it's a little bit different again than what most people do. A lot of people use um, baking soda. A lot of people have different you know tricks and tips themselves but I find that this works really well. It's all natural. I honestly kind of forget what's even inside it but it's it naturally absorbs odors, bacteria, harmful pollutants, allergens. It dehumidifies to prevent mold, mildew, and excess moisture. So you can put the, these in rooms, you can put them in bags. I think they work especially great and fast in bags. So I did buy this bag pre-loved as well. I saved a lot of money and it didn't really come with a smell per se, but it's just what I like to do when I do get a pre-loved bag. Um, I don't know, you know, if there is some moisture in there or bacteria, whatever. I just throw this in there for a few days and it really kind of absorbs and everything and it just, it's just good for the bag, I think. So um, yeah, check these out they're really cheap and expensive and like I said when you're not using them in a bag you can just put them around your house and I think they're they're really good for you oh and one more thing about this it's reusable for two years and to kind of rejuvenate it after you've used it for a long time all you do is lay it in the Sun and the Sun and the heat pulls everything out of the bag and then you can keep reusing it it's just a really cool thing next I want to talk about cleaning bags because if you use your bags they're bound to get dirty maybe some shadows on them some specific marks and and I really find that using baby wipes, but the all natural kind, like literally the kind that have nothing but probably, I'm not even honestly sure, but this is the kind I recommend. It's Huggies, Natural Care. It's pretty much just water and it works so well. And I, again, this is one of those things where, you know, people have differing opinions. So take this with a grain of salt, but I use these on almost all of my bags and it works wonders. Like it really just gets the marks off fast and I don't damage my bags at all. I would recommend if you haven't sprayed your bags, like the natural leather, then that 
this moisture could leave a mark. So be leery of that. Maybe avoid natural untreated leather. Um, unless you've sprayed it, then you should be good. But yes, just pick these up at Walmart, Target, grocery store. These are the best. Next, let's get into decorating your bag because they're beautiful, but sometimes you can really spruce them up and kind of personalize them and make them your own. So I love my Louis Vuitton. Um, it's actually a luggage tag, so I did that. I also love my Louis Vuitton key um, chain thing here. It's it's really just like a keychain, but I specifically put it on my bag here to kind of spruce it up, decorate it, make it a little more flashy. And then if you just wanna kinda go low key, but just look a little fresh, like a little bit, just something fun, just get a simple scarf and tie it around your bag. It really changes the look of the whole bag. I really, I just bought this like a few weeks ago. It's from Madewell. Um, it's the perfect length for a spring summer little addition to any bag. So this next tip is definitely something I've talked about before. I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but I just couldn't couldn't not put it in this video because I've received so many comments about how this was life changing for you guys, how this really, really helped you. Um, but no no credit to me, this was all Lux Mummy or Amanda here on YouTube. This was her suggestion like years ago and I've since adopted it. Um, so for probably like the third time, shout out to her. Um, but basically what you wanna do is just get a basket or a bin and you can keep it in your closet or you could keep it near your door like when you're gonna walk out of your house. And it just is going to be filled with all of your handbag must have so it could be your sunglasses I have this little mini pochette um, I showed you a larger one before but this is more for like my mini bags um, I've got a small little wallet I've got a tie to go pen I've got some aspirin I've got a, um, a lip gloss so it's really just everything I want to have with me in a handbag and so it's just easily switchable so if you want to change out your handbag you just put everything in here you switch to a new bag and then you come home and you put everything in here and then the next day you switch to a new bag so it's not for every Everybody, but if you do want to change out your bags from time to time, this is so helpful. So anyways, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!